Welcome to this 30 second Photoshop tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com where today we're going to talk about generating image assets with the generator. I believe it's still considered a plugin for Photoshop, but it's included with Photoshop and it's there. There's no real installing of a plugin you need to do or anything like that. Now, before we get going, this tutorial is sponsored by our good friends at WP Engine. They've got the best, the fastest, the most rock steady WordPress specific hosting that you've ever seen. It's like a regular old host, but just geared for WordPress. I use it for tutvid.com. I trust them. They're great guys. Um, go to tutvid.com slash WP hyphen engine. There's a link that appeared on the screen, right? Boom there. And also there's a link in the description of the video. You can check it out. There's a discount code there where you can get a nice little discount uh, for signing up today or tomorrow or the day after or whenever. So generating assets in Photoshop. This is really, really cool. Go to file, generate, and we have edge reflow project, which if you use edge reflow, it's basically going to generate a reflow uh, project with a folder for assets from this PSD. I'm not really going to get into that here. I'm going to focus more on image assets. When I click this, you're going to see it just like hangs up for a quick second and then it's as if nothing happened, but something did happen. Check this out. I'm going to move to my desktop where this file is saved right there, that PSD. And look at this, a folder has been created uh, called, well, after the file name, but just hyphen assets. And within that folder, there's just an error file right now or an errors.txt file right now. But what can we do with this? Let's say we zoom in down here on this little image slider and I'm going to select the image uh, within the image slider. Well, actually, maybe not the image. Let's let's look at what we've got here. Well, we do have an image. But we've got points and arrows and buttons. I'm going to roll with the image here and I'm going to name this pic uh, light hyphen flash dot jpg all right i'm going to hit enter or return by giving it a file extension what we've done is automatically generated an asset from this photoshop document like flash.jpg and sure enough it's just that jpeg image that's it and we can go in here into the uh, layer styles and we can do something like color overlay and give it this sort of like crazy green color overlay or something uh, maybe just choose to change the colors within the image, hit OK, and we can go back out, and sure enough, it's automatically updated that JPEG file. This JPEG file is linked to this PSD, but that's not it. Let's say, eh, you know what, let's undo that. We actually don't want this to be a JPEG. We're just going to name that light. We get rid of the file extension. Check it out it kills the JPEG file that was in the assets folder. So we don't have to worry about clutter and junk piling up within our assets folder. That's pretty neat. Now it's not only JPEGs and it actually is not only um, single layers. You can take an entire layer group and say slider dot, let's go PNG, well, let's name it, slider dot PNG. And if we go back to that folder, we have our entire slider being saved out as a dot PNG file. So you can see there's a ton of great stuff you can do. Oh, actually, you can also do something like say 200% spacebar, save that out, and it's going to save out a, uh, a, a, a dot PNG, which is 200% size. Now you can see it's pretty blurry. We don't have edge fidelity. And that's because even when you're working with a smart object, when you upsize using the file generator in Adobe Photoshop, what it does is it first like rasterizes the file as it's seen right here. It locks those sizes in and then it scales that whole thing up 200% and saves that file out. The way you get around this is, well, first of all, don't save out 200% using that technique, but realistically, Using text, you can upscale text because text is vector and also proper vector shape layers. If you're importing Adobe Illustrator artwork, you want to import it and copy it in as a vector shape, not necessarily a smart object. A smart object gets locked in at its size and does not scale up like you may be accustomed uh, to seeing with traditional smart objects. So just a couple little things to think about. Uh, right there. So it's really just a great way to sort of go ahead and start to piece out your Photoshop document and, you know, send it out for the world to see without having to slice everything up. Um, you, obviously, you can scale up. You can, oh, also, by the way, let's just, we'll take the calendar here and let's double click here on calendar. We can do something like 50%, right, to half size the calendar uh, dot JPEG. And we're going to save out a calendar, which is half sized and is a JPEG file. Boom, just like that. So there's a lot of really, really cool things you can do with the generator here in Photoshop. So for the generator in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.